Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. So have you ever watched a video online and you wished it instantly spoke your language naturally with matching lip movements and accurate captions? Well, that's exactly what Azure Video Translation from Azure Speech Services makes possible. So in today's video, I'm going to walk you through what Azure Video Translation is, what its key features are, and most importantly, how you can use it in both Azure AI Foundry and also programmatically through the REST API. So by the end of this video, you'll know how to bring your videos to life in multiple languages with just a few clicks or lines. So at its core, Azure Video Translation is a cloud-based service that enables video translation into multiple languages with dubbed audio while preserving the emotion and tone. It also supports a wide range of locales and languages, and it offers various output formats. It also includes features such as lip sync and personal voice dubbing. But some important features to mention about this service include that, number one, it has a REST API, and it also has a low-code interface that you can use. It does require an Azure subscription in specific regions. You can also use personal voice and lip sync features, but to use personal voice, you have to apply for access to personal voice as it is a limited access feature. And if you wanna know more about that, you can check out my live interpreter video for more information. Another important point is that the service operates in 10 global Azure regions. And as far as the input formats and some limitations, the service supports MP4 video files up to five gigabytes and four hours in length. It's two hours with lip sync. Um, the audio, fi audio only files like MP3 and WAV are also supported and the uploads must be to blob storage. Um, right now, streaming and URL, URL uploads aren't supported. And then one, one cool thing is that the source language can be auto-detected or you can manu manually specify it if you'd like. Um, on languages, voices, and translation quality, um, it supports over 70 languages and 140 plus locales are supported, including dialects. Uh, the service does support SSML for voice fine tuning. It offers over 400 plus neural voices with emotional expression and multi-speaker diarization diarization for up to 10 speakers. Um, currently, custom neural voice is not yet supported. And you know, finally, some important points on output formats and features uh, include that you know outputs include MP4 video, MP3 and WAV audio, and VTT subtitles. And there's options for separate files or even hard-coded subtitles. Um, the output resolution will match the input. Uh, like I said, lip sync is supported with personal voice for single speaker videos. And then also your job status uh, can be monitored via API or even in the event hub notifications. Okay, let's see how video translation works in Azure AI Foundry. So to get there, you go to Azure AI Foundry, you go to Speech Playground, and then you wanna click into video translation. Um, so when you first open video translation, you're gonna see a sample video that you can check out. So uh, one of the other things that it has here is it says, you know, video translation API is available in public preview, and you can explore it here. If you click into that, it will actually take you out to documentation. Um, but let's look at this, uh, this sample video here. So you can see they have the dubbed in English with personal voice and they have the original video in Spanish. So over here on the sample option, you can either translate with personal voice or you can translate with pre-built voice. We're gonna choose translate with personal voice and then it'll show you the video translate settings. So the original language is Spanish, it translates to, to English and then it's using personal voice, and then it's auto-detecting the number of speakers. So let's actually listen to this video, the original video in Spanish first. We'll just listen to a bit of it. Microsoft ha estado 25 años comprometido con El Salvador. Microsoft es hablar de innovación y es hablar del presente y futuro de El Salvador. Son 25 años y contando los que, como marca, Microsoft ha logrado cumplir con cada uno de sus objetivos en el país. Apoyamos en su liderazgo, en su tecnología de punta y en su innovación continua. Microsoft le permite a Nico ser parte de un ecosistema tecnológico a nivel mundial. Más que un aliado para nosotros, más que un socio, realmente es un amigo, un amigo estratégico e eh, incondicional. Ok, so that's what it sounds like in Spanish in the original video. So let's listen now to the dubbed in English version with personal voice. Microsoft has been committed to El Salvador for 25 years. Microsoft stands for innovation and represents the present and future of El Salvador. It's been 25 years and as a brand. 
Microsoft has achieved each of its goals in the country. We rely heavily on their leadership, cutting edge technology and continuous innovation. Microsoft allows Nico to be part of a global technological ecosystem. More than an ally to us, more than a partner, it truly is a strategic and unconditional friend. So a couple of things I want you to notice here, because it's using personal voice, it actually keeps the person's persona and it also retains their accent. So if you do a video um, translated from um, Spanish to English, they the, the people in the video will speak English, but they'll speak English with um, their original accent. So if you scroll down, a couple more things, it just has some, some facts in here like, you know, why consider video translation? These are some reasons to consider it, right? And then, um, you know, these are some use cases like vlog and short video, new, news and interview, enterprise training. And if you scroll down a little more, you can see some of the key features here. And then um, also it kind of explains the two dubbing voice options here. Now, um, you can see here that uh, to use personal voice, there is access required. So if you scroll down a little bit, it explains um, why um, personal voice is a limited access service. And then to actually gain access to personal voice, you need to click here and it'll take you out to an application and you can apply to gain access to personal voice. Okay, so the other thing that you will see here is my videos, right? Um, so let's click into my videos. So I've actually already uh, got a video in here, but I'm going to show you what it looks like when you upload a video. So if I click on upload a video, you can see some options here. So first you would pick your voice type. So you can pick pre-built neural voice or you can pick personal voice if you have access to it. And then you can drag and drop your files here or you can browse for files. Remember, it needs to be an MP4 um, under 500 megabytes and then less than 60 minutes. Here's where you'd name your file and then you can auto detect the number of speakers or if you want, you can turn this off and then you can actually choose, you know, the number of speakers that are in your video. Here is the original language of the video. So there's a ton of uh, languages you can choose from and then what you want to translate your video to. A uh, couple last things is that here you'd click that you acknowledge that this is going to cost money, right? This is going to incur charges to your account. And then you can actually see the pricing right here. And then also you need to accept the code of conduct for Azure AI speech, uh, text to speech. So, and if you click here, you can read that as well. So once you're done, um, you can actually go ahead and, um, and create the video. Okay, so um, I already have a video here, so let's take a look at it. So you can see that it has succeeded. And so if we click into it, it's gonna show us a couple of things. So if you look at the top, it says succeeded, source language English, translate to Spanish. It's using pre-built neural voice. It was created on 924. It was modified on 924, and then it has the time as well, right? So, um, Something that's really cool about modification, so you can see here that it has um, the actual text that goes along with the video. So let's say that I'm like, hmm, that didn't translate like I thought it would. I could come in here, maybe it's supposed to be uh, nosy. I could take that off and then I can either save that or I can apply the changes and, it w and then you can regenerate the video with the correct uh, translation. So I'm just gonna put that back for now. The other thing you can do is um, the voice settings. So if I didn't like the voice that they assigned, um, I can go in here and I could say, hmm, for speaker one, I actually want, uh, I want Serafina. No, I don't want Serafina. I want uh, Ada multilingual, or I, we even have the HD voices in here. Like I want Emma two dragon HD latest. So you can actually choose a voice that you, um, that you, you, you desire basically. Um, and so the other thing you can do is if you want to uh, generate the video in a whole new language, you can do that as well. So you can choose your voice type and then you can choose your language here as well. You once again have to say, I acknowledge I will be charged for this. I acknowledge the code of conduct and I accept it before you translate again. 
Um, once you're done and you're like, great, this is perfect. I'm going to download it. You hit download and there's a couple of, uh, uh, ways that you can get downloads. So you can get the translated video in MP4, the translated subtitles in VTT and the translated metadata, uh, JSON in VTT. If you want, you can also get the edited data and then also you can get the source data as well. If you, if you need that, right. Okay, so let's actually, um, let's actually, oh, one last thing. So there's also uh, uh, the audio waveform down here. So you can actually scrub through this as well if you need to scrub through. Um, but let's listen really quick because I don't think you've, you guys have heard the original video. So let's listen uh, to the original video real quick and then we will listen to the translated video. Let me just put it back to the beginning. There we go. Speech technology has always been about more than just getting machines to talk. It's about creating systems that can truly listen, understand, and connect with people. From recognizing the words we speak to interpreting tone, intent, and emotion, the real power of speech AI lies in making communication feel natural and human. Okay, so you get the idea there. So now let's listen to the translated one. We'll just bring it back to the beginning. La tecnología de voz va más allá de hacer que las máquinas hablen. Se trata de crear sistemas que realmente puedan escuchar, entender y conectar con las personas. Desde captar palabras hasta descifrar tono e intención. Y la emoción, el verdadero poder de la, la tecnología de voz va más allá de hacer que las... Pause that. Yep, and there you go. So now you have that. So um, I speak a little Spanish, but not that good. So that's a really great... Uh, that's a great way to really localize your content. So, um, you know, when you get a chance, um, go into Azure AI Foundry and check out video translation in Speech Playground. So for developers, you can also use a REST API. So this is the documentation um, to use the REST API. I won't get too deep into it, but uh, there are a couple things. You do have to have a uh, Azure subscription, you have to have a speech resource, and an Azure Blob storage account as well. Um, and just remember that your videos have to be in MP4 format, less than five gigabits and shorter than four hours. Um, and then you can also use this test uh, video uh, provided by Microsoft as well. And then just also make sure that video translation supports your source and target language. Uh, this document goes through the workflow. So it talks about how to create a translation object, um, how to create an iteration uh, to start the translation pro pro process, um, and then how to download the translated videos and subtitles. Um, and then optionally, you can also create additional iterations to help improve the translation quality. So everything that we did in the Foundry Playground, you can also do it with the API, right? So um, not only does it tell you exactly uh, how you can do this, but there's also a sample code you can use as well. Um, and the other thing that it shows in a table format down here, if you keep going down, it'll show the REST API operations. Um, so you can you know, use these REST API operations for video translation as well. So that's Azure Video Translation in a nutshell, an end-to-end -end solution for globalizing your content, whether through Speech Studio's simple UI or API for developers. And if you're a business looking to expand internationally or localize training or an educator creating multilingual learning materials, or just a creator, you know, trying to reach more audiences, this, this tool can save you time, money, and effort compared to manual dub dubbing or sub subtitling. So if you found this video helpful, please make sure to like this video, subscribe to my channel, and drop a comment. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.